So this is underneath my arm, the sensor. Sensor underneath the arm. And I'm just about to have lunch. I'm having soup. And uh, let's check the temperature before I start. Room temperature 20.8, underneath the arm 32, 30.2. So I'm going to hold it there for about a minute. 32.1. And I'm tracking the consistency of the burning sensation at the back of the chest as I eat. And the temperature increases that goes along with that. So. I'm going to get a starting point here before I start eating. 32.5. That's one minute, eight seconds. So I'm just going to start eating. That's 32.7. So I'm just going to start eating. burning sensation on the back. Three, four. Another one. And I'm going to hold it away from my bowl here. Let's put it up here. Actually, let's put it out here.
Another burning sensation on the back. And there you go. Increase. And my uh, and my nose is uh, starting to run. So I'm just gonna grab something here. Excuse me, while I wipe my nose. So the sensor is still between. I mean, uh, underneath the arm. So we're up to 33 six. Another burning sensation on the back. Three seven. Twenty two two and now a really huge burning sensation on the back. So we're up to twenty two three external. And underneath the arm should be going up. Thirty-three, three. That's because I just shifted the uh, the sensor. And the external temperature is going up quite a bit. Now I'm holding it away from my dish, which is soup. And the soup is, is um, hot. But the heat in the soup doesn't, um, doesn't explain my being able to predict the, um, the increases and the sudden burning sensations on the back. Again, huge burning sensation. Right to the side of the breast. And there you go, 33, 4. And we're up to 22, 6. Now I'm holding it away from, from any heat that would be coming from the soup. So this is way, um, this is away from the uh, soup. So I'm going to have another another uh, spoonful, and my nose, of course, is running because because uh, I'm being pulsed. So we have to thirty three four. And every spoonful I take seem to trigger these burning sensations on the back. So that wasn't so painful, but um, you could, um, I could feel it. So there is no instant increase there because it wasn't as painful. Also, the left hip is burning as well. Notice it didn't increase right away. But the next one is going to be even more painful.
And there we go, another one, and which was really painful and burning. And which seemed to correspond with every mouthful that I take. And the air went up. Underneath the arm should go up as well. It takes um, a little bit longer for the body temperature to register underneath the arm. But the air temperature seemed to increase faster. And uh, another lower, um, I'm going to say a lower voltage, but um, a, um, not as painful sensation, burning sensation. Notice the underneath the arm is not going up. I'm not quite sure. Oh, that's because it's not underneath the arm. It was in the external. Uh, it was right through the armpit. The sensor was actually external on the other side of the arm. So there you go. There's a better reading. 33.7. So let me see here. So yeah, so let me just place it in the middle of my armpit. Excuse me while I, while I wipe my nose. And there you get a more accurate reading, 34.1, 34.2. I just got um, a huge burning sensation on the back. And my soup is quite cold, actually. It's not hot anymore. So it wouldn't be the soup. I actually do this experiment with um, lukewarm room temperature um, foods, and you get exactly the same result. Another burning sensation, 34.3. That goes with every mouthful. And that's 15 minutes. So the room temperature is up to 22.8. Excuse me while I wipe my nose. Thirty-four three. And I'm just gonna stop it there.